Hi, I'm Chris Rayner, the first vice president of Sierra Nevada Realtors. And I'm Sarah Scatini, your first vice president for Nevada Realtors and your 2024 Washoe director. Before we take a look at June's Northern Nevada real estate market, we want to thank our partners for 2024. And this month's partner is Nevada Realtors. Thank you, Nevada Realtors. And now let's get to the point. These numbers are reported as of July 7th, 2024 and are subject to change. Carson had 98 new listings in June. This is up 5.4% from May and it's up 34.2% from June of 2023. Carson saw a decrease of 15% on close sales, ending June at 51 closings. The medium sold price in June increased 2.9%, ending at $560,000. And the medium days to contract in Carson, well, that was only 21 days. Churchill June new listings it decreased by 45.7%, with 19 new properties compared to May. Closings also decreased 23.1% from May with 20 closed properties, and the median sales price in Churchill increased 15% from the prior month, ending at 421,250. The median days to contract was 27. Douglas remained the same though, and so for new listings, this ended at 77 as well as no change in closed sales with 47 compared to the May. Medium sales price for Douglas decreased a little bit though, 1.4% from May ending at $720,000. Properties were under contract in just 21 days. Elliot, we're seeing more sales signs popping up, so give us some insight. Is this good, bad, or both? That's a great question, and the answer is yes. Let me explain. Until very recently, supply was very low. There was almost nothing to buy. Demand was stronger, and as a result, prices went up. Now inventory is starting to rise, but rates remain high. This is increasing supply and not increasing demand all that much, but some. So it remains a seller's market, but not quite as strong as it was in the past. The big question is now what happens to inventory and interest rates? If inventories continue to rise and rates remain high where they are, we might begin to see prices decline as we're seeing in parts of Florida and parts of Texas. If on the other hand, inventory continues to rise and interest rates begin to fall as we expect in the fall, then we'll have an increase in supply, an increase in demand. Prices will not go up, but volume of sales will go up considerably. It will become a strong market. Buyers, sellers, and realtors will all be happy. An ideal situation. So watch inventory and interest rates. That's it for now. I look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you, Elliot. If you want to hear more from Elliot, sign up for his blog. You can go to econ70.com. Lyon County had 145 new listings in June, a decrease of 18.5% from last year. Closings also were down 17.6% with 103 closed properties reported. The median sales price for June in Lyon County decreased 2.7% from May, ending at $389,000. Days to contract in Lyon County was 25. So now we have Washoe County, excluding Incline Village. We saw a decrease of 14.3% on new listings in June, with 562 properties entering the market. Closings were down 8.4%, with 405 properties closing escrow. The medium sales price for Washoe also increased 1.7%, from the previous month ending at a flat even 600,000. The medium days to contract for Washoe County, only 16 days. And that's a wrap for this month's To The Point. We want to remind all of our members and consumers to meet with your agent to see how they can help you find your next home. Thanks, Sarah. And check out our many To The Point segments for you to be able to share on your social media feeds 
and newsletters. We want you to share and shine. And that's, that's a, wrap a wrap for this episode of To The Point. See you next time.